Aloha guys. This is Ian from Hyper. So recently, I had some very interesting emails from all over the world, outside of Hawaii, and it's outside of Hawaii. And uh, some people who sell paddles, I have, I have people who follow me and say, hey, you know, I was uh, talking to a guy I buy my paddles from, or my coach, he say, you know, this kind of paddle is no good for you because it has too much catch and it will cause you to hooli or flip the boat. And I had to laugh because that's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard, right? Every coach will tell you, a real coach will tell you, hey, you want catch. That cannot be too much catch. If you flip your boat paddling on this side, come, let's go. And let's, let's show you, right? Let's paddling on this side. If you're flipping the boat, it's because you're lifting your bottom hand like this, right? Because when you lift water, wait here, you're gonna flip the armor. It's not because of the catch. You do want a frontal catch. Look, catch up front. You see my feet here? This frontal catch, as I did in the water up front in a surf. Your frontal catch is your secondary armor on the right side. So this is the truth. This is physics. Down force on this side, keep the armor down on that side. And it's really that simple. Everything else is fake news. So don't let people mislead you because there's a hidden agenda, agenda from commercial reasons. You want a paddle that catches. Catches really well. Now, if you release with your bottom hand like that, and breaking your bottom elbow, you will flip the boat. And you'll flip that boat with any paddle. So don't blame poor technique on, on equipment. So if you have a frontal release like this, look, release with your top hand, forward, you'll not, you'll not flip it up. It reminds me, when I was a child, right, and I can say this because, let me qualify this, I'm Chinese, right? Chinese mothers, including, well, not my mother, but my mother was a teacher. Sometimes, I was a swimmer my whole life, and I would hear parents saying, while I was like 10 years old, they're like, oh, uh, my dad is a doctor, they said, oh, Dr. Fu, uh, aren't you afraid your son might drown swimming? Uh, this is why I don't want my son to learn how to swim because he might drown learning how to swim. Now that's as ridiculous as saying that a paddle has too much catch, right? I mean, if you don't learn how to swim, you will for sure drown. And if you don't learn how to catch properly and paddle properly, you will for sure do this. Look, watch. It's like faking an orgasm. It wasn't very good. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, I, I have to force myself to do it wrong. You just need to video me for a while and you get a real one. Sometimes, you know, I, I have to force myself to do it wrong to flip the canoe because I, I, I really don't know how to flip it. Because if you do it correctly, intuitively, then you're not going to flip the boat. Well, it's not because of the catch. That's just crazy. So don't fake it, okay? Don't fake it. 